Hey guys and girls, my name is Alan and welcome to today's gameplay commentary. As you can see, I've got an Uncharted 4 multiplayer match for you to enjoy today, specifically This doesn't mean we're friends, you know. A match of Bounty Hunter on the map island, and once again, it's kind of an old piece of gameplay, but very good action nonetheless. So I went back and I, I checked uh, what my previous Uncharted multiplayer matches were, and for the most part they were Plunder. And as much as I enjoy Plunder, I know that variety for some people is, is better than just having the same thing over and over again. So I thought I'd put in a match of Bounty Hunters today, uh, and then next time it'll probably be Plunder again. But Plunder is what I play the most. Like I'd say when I was playing Uncharted 4 multiplayer, you know, like regularly, I'd say about 70% was Plunder, and then maybe 20% was uh, Bounty Hunter, and then the rest was spread out amongst you know whatever but um, but yeah I, I just really enjoy plunder I just really like it. it's a really good game mode and it's, I really loved Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 and of course and Uncharted 4 as well so I just continue playing it um, and you can get some really good matches you can get some really tough matches um, but you can also get some really good matches and I enjoyed it a lot at the start as I said because you know it's a smaller team 4v4 but then they changed it to 5v5 which was a little bit more crazy but still just as fun well sometimes it was just as fun anyway I've, I've talked about all this stuff in the past so I won't cover it again right so the other reason why I wanted to do an Uncharted 4 commentary today was because, as I said, I've, I've said in several previous videos now, there's a sale currently on in the Uncharted 4 multiplayer store, half price chests on everything. So if you spend Uncharted points, it's half price. If you use relics like I do, it's half price. So if you've got spare relics to spend and you want to buy some chests, now's the time to do it. Um, if you've got challenges to complete so you can earn more relics, um, again, now's the time to do it. Because I do believe that that special offer finishes on the 19th of December. So at the time of this video going up, you've probably got a few days to do it. Um, enough to complete a few set of challenges. So as I said, if you if you want to make the most of this half price sale, then jump on it as soon as possible because it does end on the 19th of December. I think, anyway. Uh, so the, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the 19th. So that's the first thing I want to talk about. And then the second thing, I guess, is just to... to it's something that I was going to talk about in a previous video, but I just I never quite got around to it. And that is my theories for how Uncharted is going to continue going forward. Obviously, the Uncharted franchise with Nathan Drake has pretty much come to an end. Now, I'm not going to talk about any spoilers or anything in case you haven't played the franchise yet. If you haven't played the franchise yet, I, I suggest highly that you jump on it. Um, get the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection, really cheap now. You can get all three games and then you buy the fourth one again. You can probably pick it up quite cheap uh, these days because it's over a year old now. Nearly two years old, isn't it? Nearly two years old. It's mad. But really good franchise, and if you enjoy the stories, uh, you know, obviously give the multiplayer a crack, and I think you can just get your money's worth, really, from the games. Uh, well, the Uncharted Nation Drake collection doesn't actually have multiplayer, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, so that's the first thing I want to talk about. I, I do believe, um, well, okay, I don't believe, believe, but I truly hope that they are going to remaster the multiplayer for Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 at some point in the future. Now, obviously, they've got their hands full with Last of Us 2 coming out. Um, some people are saying it might come out as early as next year. Eh, I don't know about that. I'd probably say more 2019 spring, maybe early summer. But that's just my that's my prediction. Uh, it'd be great if it came out next year, but I, I'm not holding my breath for it to come out next year. Possibly, you know, the the final months of 2018, but I'd say more likely the start of 2019 or early summer 2019 for The Last of Us 2. So yeah, so, so story content wise, that's what they're busy working on, that's fine. I'm looking forward to that game, I don't mind them working on it. I think they're also working on a, another IP as well. Uh, I don't know if they've mentioned it or not, but I, I'm pretty sure I heard that they're working on another thing as well as The Last of Us 2. So potentially the next Lost Legacy game, um, well, I say Lost Legacy. Of course by that I mean the next Uncharted title. So I don't think it'd be called Uncharted The Lost Legacy 2 because The Lost Legacy was kind of a reference to the storyline. So it'll just be called Uncharted and then something else. Just like the other Uncharted games have been titled appropriately. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, again, that's definitely not coming out anytime before The Last Legacy. Uh, the Last Legacy? That's not coming out anytime before The Last of Us 2. So it'll probably be 2020 now before we get the next Uncharted game. Which, again, I mean, I, obviously I don't want to wait that long, but... If it takes that long for them to produce a really good game like they did with the previous titles, then by all means take as much time as you need. Um, in the meantime, I do hope that they continue to support multiplayer. Uh, I don't play as much Uncharted 4 multiplayer as I used to, but obviously with them introducing multiplayer with The Lost Legacy for free, well, included in the bundle, uh, some people have started playing it for the first time and some people have come back for the first time because there's fresh players and everything. So I do hope they continue to support multiplayer. Um, I don't know if there's going to be much more multiplayer content in the way of actual, you know, like game modes and weapons and stuff like that. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious at this point that they're slowing down support if not stopping it entirely, which is fine. Um, I mean, they can continue adding cosmetic stuff. I, I assume that doesn't take too much effort compared to adding new game modes and stuff. I don't really care about cosmetic stuff. I'm still doing chess opening videos and stuff like that and posting them to the channel. And I just, I like to make those videos because it allows me to just talk about 
about stuff, you know, about my life and stuff. So if you're interested to hear thoughts about my, you know, my, my life and what's going on, then uh, obviously tune into those videos. But I also unlock stuff as well. So if you'd like to see me opening chests, then uh, you can also check out those videos. I'll link one on the screen now. I'll also put one in the description. But yeah, so the other thing that I'm curious about, and I, I kind of, I did say a few months back that I predicted that they were working on a, a co-op adventure. Now, ha. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm getting a bit vexed because I, I shouldn't have, well, I don't know, I, I mean, uh, the team got surrounded, we got taken out, I, obviously it annoyed me, so I, I, I just wasn't thinking straight after I respawned, got a reckless death again, courtesy of myself, uh, so just need to cool it down a bit, regroup, uh, regather. As you can see, uh, score line, actually I haven't talked about the game at all, it's quite back and forth, had a crazy good start, helped my teammate get a quad feed, and then... Uh, a few like a few stupid deaths and you know captain downs and stuff like that and it suddenly turns around and they're winning and we're losing uh, even though yeah you know, I believe that we're putting on a strong well I'm putting on a pretty good performance this is just one of those examples uh, but yeah somehow we're still losing so yeah a bit frustrated halfway through but uh, yeah it's, it's back and forth back through the entire game uh, I'll tell you that much but I won't tell you what the result is uh, so you just have to wait and see at the end but as I said I think I've put in a pretty good performance and I don't want to say I carried some of the team members, but, well, the results will speak for themselves. Anyway, back to what we're talking about. So, they added uh, Survival Arena, and again, I'm still working on my Crushing Solo Challenge. I haven't streamed as much in the past couple of weeks because I've been kind of busy with work. As I said in the past, I work in retail. Unfortunately, I still work in retail, uh, and that means busy at Christmas. Um, and, yeah, it's just it's one of those things. I, I seriously need to get a new job. I keep saying it, I just need to do it. Um, I don't know, I, I just, I'm just, ugh. I'm so bad, I know, it's it's awful. Um, anyway, at some point I will get a new job and I'll stop moaning about the fact that I need to get a new job. What was I talking about? Yeah, so they added Survival Crushing Grenada. I haven't streamed recently, but I'm planning to continue to stream. I do enjoy it and it gives me a, it gives me a, a dedicated slot where I can work on my challenge. That's what I like about it. So I always tweet and I try and post to YouTube when I'll be doing it. So if you follow at least one of my media channels, uh, you should be able to find out when I'm streaming. Uh, it's usually between... 8 and 11, uh, sorry, 8 and 10 or 9 and 11 uh, GMT time, British time. So if you're about and obviously I tweet, then it'll, be, it'll usually be doing those sort of slots. Okay, so that's talking about that. Uh, yeah, so they, they added Survival Arena uh, a few months after they first announced Co-op, which was obviously just the stages, which wasn't as fun as I was expecting it to be. The Survival Arena, I... <sighs> I've talked about it in the past, and they added all the stuff that I... Well, they, they basically brought back everything I didn't want them to bring back from Survival, uh, the stages, and they just turned it into an arena version rather than making a new version themselves. You know, like, it wasn't it wasn't strictly arena. It was just, like, a, uh, a randomized version of stages, and I didn't like stages that much, so I was kind of disappointed in that. And I did predict that they would be working on adventure mode, but given what they've announced, you know, working on The Last of Us 2, and then, obviously, this, this new IP... I don't know if I'm making that. I'm pretty sure they talked about a new IP. I'm fairly certain they did, um, which I'm predicting is Uncharted. So I know that obviously they've got their hands full. They're making all these games, single player and stuff. And I, I guess I don't mind them doing that, but I just feel like Uncharted 4 has missed out on something. Um, it would have been nice to, instead of having the stages, forget the stages, have the adventure mode. If you want to do quick time runs for that instead, that's fine. Um, that, I think that would have been better, to be honest. Um, I didn't really like stages. I can't speak for everyone else, but a lot of my friends didn't like it either. So there is that. Um, and then, yeah, and then Survival Arena, I said it was just a, a randomized version of stages, so again, I didn't find it that fun, to be honest, which is a big shame, and I, I haven't spent nearly as much time playing Arena and stages in Uncharted 4 as I have in either Uncharted 2 or Uncharted 3, so again, very disappointing. So, I guess, I mean, I can only imagine what the adventure mode would be like, but if they follow the same sort of pattern of using the things from stages in arena they'll probably use the same thing from arena in, in the adventure mode so in some respects maybe it's a good thing they just haven't bothered to release it because i don't know if i'll enjoy it anyway and that, that time and effort and money could be spent on something else um so yeah i mean i, I do hope and i, I kind of wish that they would remaster and try to and try three multiplayer and, and co-op uh, i know that quite a few people have been asking for it but again I don't know i don't know how much effort it would take to to bring that to ps4 i know that it's a different architecture so it's They've got to you know, do some things, but they've already made the campaigns. So, I, again, it's it's possible. I just don't know how much effort it would take for them to do it. But obviously, they're working on other stuff. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll move on from this topic now. Right. So, huh. There's actually not much left of this video to go. So, I best talk about a few other things I want to talk about. I'm not going to be able to talk about everything I want to talk about, fairly enough. I've, I've got a list in front of me, and I've only talked about, like, two things so far. And I've got, like, another seven. Um, but, anyway, okay. So, 
Uh, following on from the theme of uh, of shopping in the store, I'm now going to talk about my Christmas 2017 Christmas shopping. And just like last year, I bought a lot of stuff online and I have no idea if it's going to arrive on time. Last year, there were a couple of items that arrived pretty late uh, for various reasons. The weather was bad. It came from oh, who knows where it came from. Um, but they came well after Christmas, a couple of items. So I was a little bit disappointed about that. Uh, I told myself this year I would uh, you know, start ordering a bit earlier. And I, I did. I ordered a few presents a bit earlier. But I was struggling to think of a few other things to get for people. Um, my sister in particular was kind of a hard one. I, I, I sort of bought her a gift in the end. I said it was an early Christmas present. But I still wanted to get her something. Uh, I've now since ordered um, a couple of small things for her. But I don't know if they'll arrive on time. And of course, I think I talked about it last year, but I always buy myself a Christmas present. I always have something for myself under the tree so I know that I've got something to unwrap on the day. But also it's something that I, you know, I'm looking forward to getting. Not to say that the presents are bad, but you know, at least if I bought it myself then I know what to expect. And I, I, should, I shouldn't be disappointed with the only present that I've bought for myself, if you know what I'm saying. So this year I've really struggled. Um, I don't particularly need anything. Um, I've, I've moved into a new house, so there's, like, there's bits and bobs I could get, but there's nothing that I dire need. Um, I mean, I, I could always get something, you know, technology-wise, but again... I don't really need anything at the moment, so um, I, I bought myself a few small things, but nothing major. Um, I guess, I, well, I guess I bought a house this year, so Christmas buffs, I rolled into one. But otherwise, I would have liked to have picked up something nice. Um, I, I mean, there's always stuff that you could buy, but, you know, money's the issue there. So, uh, so yeah, I haven't really found anything in particular. Then maybe I'll see something closer to the date, but just order myself a few small things. So I do have something to unwrap on the day, but in terms of major gifting, uh, nothing really big for myself this year, which is... Bit of a surprise, bit of a shame, but again, if you don't need anything, then, you know, why spend the money, right? And as I said, there are stuff I want, but too expensive for me to be spending right now. Alright, so, match is sort of drawing to an end. As you can see, we're very, very close. In fact, we're neck and neck right now, so it's all down to the last few minutes. Um, but I won't spoil the ending, you just have to watch and wait and see. So yeah, just uh, another reminder, if you haven't spent your relics yet, if you haven't done any challenges recently, then there is a half price sale on the store, so hit those challenges and hit those chests as soon as possible. As I said, I think it's the 19th of December, it does end. I'm going to try and push out a few more chest opening videos before this sale finishes, so look forward to seeing those in the future, hopefully not too distant future. I will be trying to continue to stream my solo crushing challenge on Uncharted 4 Survival Arena. So if you want to get a heads up on that, follow my Twitter and I'll try and post it to YouTube as well. But Twitter is obviously the quickest way to find out because I tweet and then a couple of hours later I stream. And yeah, if you haven't bought your Christmas shopping yet, you need to get a move on because we're approaching the final week now before Christmas. It's a little over a week before the big day. It's just mad. Like Christmas has just come around so fast this year. It's, the whole of 2017 has just flown by for me. I don't know about you guys and girls, but for me, it's just been so quick and I can't believe we're just over a week away. So if you are going to order stuff, better do it sooner rather than later. Uh, if you're ordering it online, it may already be too late, but obviously you can always dip into a shop, um, spend a bit extra money if you, uh, if you left it too late. So yeah, that will do it for today's video. If you enjoyed the content, consider tapping the like button. I really do appreciate it. And if you've got any thoughts you'd like to share me regarding anything I've talked about today, let me know in the comment section below. But until next time, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, take care, and I hope you enjoy your weekend. Bye.